Welcome, my name is Don Goodsmer. I'm a technical advisor for Entropy Resins. Today in this video, we'll be discussing dispensing and mixing entropy epoxy and to give helpful tips to meter the epoxy at the correct ratio. In this demonstration, we're going to be using entropy clear casting resin part A with clear casting hardener part B. When working with the epoxy, it's critical to meter the epoxy as close as possible to the target ratio. The resin molecules and hardener molecules have reactive sites that need to be mixed at the right proportions so they cross-link properly. If mixed off ratio, they potentially could cure to a tacky or rubbery state. If you mix it at the right ratio, it will cure to a hard solid and develop the mechanical properties that we have listed on our technical data sheet. Seeing that the mix ratio is so important for the epoxy, the easiest way to find it is on the back of the hardener container. For the clear casting system, it's actually two parts resin to one part hardener by volume, and the weight ratio is given in parts per hundred. So I'll discuss that in just a minute. The other location is referring to our website. We have a technical data sheet for all the epoxy formulations that we offer, and this is given by weight and volume. Before we get started dispensing the epoxy, we're gonna make sure we put some gloves and safety glasses on. It's an essential thing to have when metering any epoxy, is you wanna shield your eyes and keep it off your skin, because with epoxy systems, they're considered a skin sensitizer. So if with repeated exposure, say on your arm or your hand, you potentially could have a reaction to the epoxy. And with the safety glasses, it's just gonna shield your eyes for any potential splashes or if you accidentally dump the container, so we'll get safety glasses on. So now that we're ready to get started, um, the first way we're gonna dispense the epoxy is to meter it by volume. You wanna make sure that you get a container that has close to parallel sides, so it's not a tapered container, and that the inside corner is close to a 90 degree corner so that your mixing stick can get in and thoroughly mix the resin with the hardener. This container is quite nice is because it has graduations on it from two ounces all the way up to 28 ounces. So you can do it by volume to maintain that two to one ratio. If your container doesn't have graduations, you can actually get a, a paint mixing stick and measure out two parts to one part. And that's what I did on this one is actually measure two inches, then another inch for the hardener. So you put your container on a level surface and you pour the resin to the bottom mark, then the hardener to the top mark, and that maintains that two to one ratio. So we'll actually use the container and take advantage of the graduations that are on it and mark out two to one. So we'll make a mark at four ounces, then another mark at six ounces. So we'll start with the resin. And take the lid off the resin. And it'll have a protective seal that we'll need to cut away. And one thing that's nice is if you take your mixing stick and put it right in the middle of the container, you can pour the resin right onto the stick to have more control. So we're gonna pour this right to our four ounce mark. Now for the hardener. It will also have a protective seal that will cut away. And when you pour the hardener, take your time. It's lower viscosity, so you don't add too much hardener. So we'll just add it and bring it right up to the six ounce mark. So now that we have the right proportions of resin to hardener, just keep in mind as you mix, pay special attention to scrape the inside corner and the sides of the container along with the bottom and mix slowly. There's no rush to mix it fast. A minimum of two minutes of mixing is needed to thoroughly mix it. So what we're gonna do is we'll take this batch of epoxy and we'll set it aside and I can tell you about doing the, the next method of metering the epoxy. And this would be done by weight so what we have right here is an affordable food scale, and you can get this at any local box store. Before we meter the epoxy out by weight, we need to get the weight ratio. So if you refer on the back of the hardener container, this is gonna give you in parts per 100. So 100 divided by 43 
is 2.33 parts resin to one part hardener by weight. Now that we know that, um, we'll turn the scale on and set the units to grams and tear the scale to zero. So we'll first start with the resin. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll pour 20 grams of resin in. So it's about roughly a, a fluid ounce. So 20 divided by 2.33 is 8.58 grams of harder needed. So we're gonna tear the scale again to zero. And now we'll add the hardener, 8.58 grams needed. So as you pour the hardener, just take your time and go slow so you don't add more hardener than that's, that's needed. Okay, it's 8.58. So now that we have the right proportions of resin to hardener, um, set our scale aside and we'll mix this for a minimum of two minutes and you'll be ready to uh, use it. So we'll set this aside. And the last method that we'll talk about today to meter the epoxy is gonna be by using the Entropy Calibrated Metering Pumps. We offer a mini pump set on our Entropy product line, which will include two pumps. They're identical pump, one for the resin, the other a hardener. The kit will also include extension tubes that will be put onto the bottom of the pumps if needed. A small cap adapter for smaller size containers. The kit will also include detailed instructions. I can demonstrate installing the pumps on the containers. So we'll first start with the resin. Remove the cap. The protective seal. So you want to take the pump and put it up to the container and see if it needs an extension tube. And with this pump, it's going to need a small blue extension tube that comes in the kit. So now it reaches right to the bottom of the container. Install it. And now for the hardener. One thing that is different between the two caps is the diameter of the resin is larger than the hardener. So this little adapter that comes in the kit, we're gonna put on the other pumps. So you wanna hold the pump, the top, and unscrew the top portion of the pump. And the larger cap come off. Install a smaller cap. So before we put the pump in the container, we're gonna put the pump up next to the container and see if it needs an extension tube. And for this pump, it reaches right to the bottom of the container. An extension tube is not needed. Now we can install the pump. So now that the pumps are installed into the containers, the next step you wanna do is to prime the pump. And what that means is you wanna get a little catch pot and we'll start with the resin. So to prime the pump is we're gonna do full pump strokes and it will bring the material through the pump to fill the pump so you get a steady stream per pump stroke. So you just do full pump strokes and it's gonna start building some resistance, starting filling the pump. So now that a little bit comes out, it's fully primed. Set that aside. And now for the hardener. Just keep in mind the hardener's lower viscosity. We wanna pump it slowly so it primes up properly. Okay, now that's fully primed. So now that they're primed, we'll get a new container. Let's start with the resin. Seeing that these are identical pumps and the ratio is two parts resin to one part hardener by volume, we're gonna do two full pump strokes of resin. Let it come up by itself. Keep in mind that you wanna do full pump strokes and not do partial to make sure you stay on the correct mix ratio. And one pump of the hardener. So now that we have the right amount of volume in here, we can mix this up for a minimum of two minutes, scraping the sides and bottom of the container, and it will be ready to be used. 
Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos from Entropy Resins.